so guys welcome back to another video and uh, this video is going to be a video on google maps and flutter guys i know i already already done a lot of videos on the same subject on this channel and you also saw how to add markers uh, use geolocation to get the uh, current location of a person and plot it on the map and all that but the google maps plugin has changed like uh, a month back it got changed uh, there were a lot of changes in that particular plugin and whatever videos i have done so far uh, are now like uh, the code that i showed in those videos don't work uh, well now so what i thought of was to update uh some of those videos some features of those particular videos so that you guys can get a uh, better idea of or you can you guys can get an updated version of those same videos so in this video what we will be seeing is uh, you will be seeing how to bring in google maps inside your flutter applications as well as placing uh, markers on those particular uh, google maps if time permits we will also see how to move from one position to another uh, inside those maps so uh, this was my previous repository uh, which i had done for google maps and uh, geolocation and all that anyway this is the plugin that we will be using guys google maps flutter okay so i have a blank application here first i will go ahead and install that plugin google maps flutter fine and uh, there are a few other things you would need to do get into android app uh, source android manifest.xml here you would need to add the google maps key that you get from uh, developer console just go to developer console create a new application and uh, inside that enable the google maps for android api google maps for android api okay not the static maps api google maps for android api and from there you will get a key okay and uh, you take that key and then uh, you wait i'll show you how to bring that key. this is where you need to add that particular key the key you once again i'll tell you the key you will get it in uh developers console google developers console you just need to create a new project and then enable uh google maps for android api then you will automatically have a tab called uh, credentials inside which you can get this particular key and here is where you would need to paste that key you need to add this metadata tag and then paste that key there so i'll do it once you have done that in android manifest.xml just get into build.gradle file and then here there is some class path something right uh modify this to look like this okay now i have added google services and i have simply up, uh, updated that version right to avoid the android x issue uh, get into gradle.properties and automatically add the uh, two arguments that i showed in i already made a video on how to avoid this android x issue in your uh, flutter application so kindly refer to that video once if not you just need to add these two arguments that's about it and uh, yeah let's move on no we also need to get into build.gradle and uh, change the sdk version to 28 right here as well 28 fine save this save this as well save this as well close everything okay here you added that uh, google maps flutter plugin and let's get back into main.dart file uh, now what we'll be doing is first we'll how to bring in a simple google map inside your uh, flutter application for that first you need to import the uh, uh, package sorry package uh, google maps flutter right what was that google maps flutter fine and uh, the next thing you need to do is i'll maybe have a container uh, child container uh, some height of some 400 units maybe and uh, width of media query dot of context dot size dot width fine and uh, this i'll have child google map and uh, now we know we don't need to specify it as google map options we can directly uh, give the options inside this uh, inside uh, here itself okay now earlier we would be using google map options to specify a few options uh, to throw in a few options here right now we can directly do that so i'll give initial camera position uh, this will be a camera position uh, latitude longitude sorry target uh, latitude longitude coordinates and i have the coordinates for new york so i'll just uh, make use of here i used new york right i forgot yeah i used new york 
so I will make use of the same here this I did uh, like four months back I think yeah it was four months back uh, longitude since it is in the western hemisphere we would need to add a minus sign in front fine and uh, we will add some zoom as well zoom some 12 units uh, as is enough okay now uh, we have written some code to bring in a google map inside your uh, flutter application let's save this and try to run this on the device and see how this looks all right guys now as you can see here we have the map loader at new york right it will just change this to media query dot of context dot size dot height as well fine save this now we have a uh, map loaded on inside inside our flutter app right so yeah this is a this is the simplest way of i mean uh, this entire thing has been simplified guys with this new plugin this entire thing has been simplified now uh, to play around inside this map uh, we would need a map controller obviously before showing you the map controller i'll show you how to bring in a marker inside this map so for that what you will be doing is uh, you will go here and then earlier we can just uh, use the marker option and then uh, i mean you can use wait i'll show you how we brought in those markers so that you guys can get an idea of what has changed using the map controller i simply added the uh, marker onto the map right but now it has changed slightly what you would need to do is it would expect a set right i'll show you if you And this is the camera position sorry as you can see here it expects a set right a set of markers so what you would need is uh, um, how do i go uh, i'll create a list maybe list marker marker and uh, this will be an empty list at first and then uh, on init state oh sorry sorry I didn't give a name for this list, right? All markers, fine. This will be an empty list at first, and then in init state, what I'll do is uh, I'll go ahead and add a marker. All markers dot add. Uh, marker. This will have a marker ID, I guess. Marker ID. Uh, no, it will be a marker ID marker id my marker fine and uh, this marker will have a target obviously we'll add a draggable first false okay if you add it to true then obviously you could drag the marker across the map and uh, on tap uh, print marker tap fine and uh, what else shall we do we'll add, we should add a target for this right sorry not a target position 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 will be a flat long uh, i'll use the same new york so that you guys can we'll take this and then add it inside here fine uh, now if we save this we should be able to i don't think we'll be able to see the marker since this is written inside the init state function probably we would need to hot restart this uh, now so what uh, where, where, where was i yeah we have this marker right to bring this marker inside uh, our uh, map what we need to do is once again uh, get in here and then markers set dot from uh, all markers fine now whichever marker is present inside this list will be sent to this markers attribute as a set so i'll save this cool right now you can see a marker uh, placed exactly on new york and if i tap on that marker just see what happens we get the marker tapped printed on the console right as you can see here we get the marker tapped printer on the console 
so our marker works fine right if we need to add another marker maybe oh, wait i'll show you the you can also drag the marker around guys there is a lot of options that you can play with uh, regarding this marker guys there is a icon attribute using which you can set a custom icon or you could change the color of the existing uh, marker icon anyway uh, we'll just see if this is draggable i'll save this see you can see that you can drag the marker around wherever you want to drag it to right uh, you just need to tap it exactly guys or else it won't see now you can see that you can drag the marker around anywhere in the screen and then place it wherever you want since you gave the draggable option to true right uh, anyway i'm not going to play around with that anymore anyway uh, so yeah this is how you place marker inside your uh, flutter apps inside maps in your google maps in your flutter applications guys we'll just see one more option before we wrap this up we'll see how to move from one location to another say for instance we are at new york now let's see how to move to boston maybe so for that what you'll need is you will need the map controller so i'll go here and then create a map controller a google map controller uh, controller equals uh, where does it want to okay google map controller controller and uh, here what i'll do is i'll have void uh, map created this is a function that will accept the controller argument and uh, 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 it will set set state controller equals controller fine and from here what you can do is uh, on map on map created see there are a ton of new options that have been added guys on camera idle on camera move all this stuff were not uh, there before right uh, I, i'll explain all this stuff in my later videos probably so uh, here what i'll do is map created fine now uh, we have this where we can i mean we have a function where we can uh use our google map controller uh, and this map controller will get initialized with the controller as soon as the map is created now what do you need to do is you need to write another function called move to boston boston fine and uh, controller dot uh, animate camera camera update dot new camera position i think yeah new camera position camera position you can simply copy and paste fine uh, the only difference is you would be using boston's latitude and longitude coordinates boston fine uh maybe we'll add a bearing here uh 45 degrees and we'll also increase the tilt to uh some uh 45 degrees fine uh okay now that we have a function called move to boston we just need to trigger this function from somewhere inside the map right so i'll instead of a center i'll use a stack stack and uh, the stack i'll have children children open this up fine after this container i'll have a uh, uh i'll have another container i'll use align widget and then you can skip this part if you want to i'm just going to be placing a button on on top of the map that's it
fine i simply have a container in i mean the button will be shaped like a circular button that's it on tap it would take me to boston move to boston right move to boston fine now i can obviously use a uh, uh, the same Fine. Uh, now we have two functions. One is to move to Boston and the other one is to move to New York. And the map controller will enable the uh, move. Okay. It has an animate camera function that will enable us to move the camera position. And uh, I'm uh, triggering those functions using uh, a couple of inkwells that I'm currently using as buttons. Let's save this, see how this looks on the device and then uh, you guys will get a better idea of what I'm trying to say here. Fine, you can see that we have a couple of uh, buttons. I didn't align them properly, guys. I used bottom center and bottom right, so they are like. Anyway, let's see how they function. First, we are at New York, right? And let's tap on the green button. We are immediately taken to Boston, and not only that, there is a slight tilt as well, right? Slight tilt since we have given the tilt here as 45 degrees, and we have also zoomed in, right? You also zoomed in right so yeah uh, you can see that uh, right away if we just tap on backspace i mean the red icon it's automatically removing all that tilt and then bringing us back to it uh, it also zoomed out a little since it's just 12 here it brought us back to new york so both these functions are working perfectly and this is how you move from one location point in a map to the other location point this is exactly boston as you can see here i'll just zoom out it's boston and uh, this is New York. If we tap this once again, it brings us back to New York. So yeah, this is how you move uh, from one point to another inside the map as well, guys. So yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to show you guys. There's a ton of uh, cool features that have been uh, included along with this plugin uh, that were not present previously as well. I played around with a few of them. Uh, I'll, you know what, I'll make new videos with all those features later on and then keep uploading uh, videos on Google Maps plus Flutter guys. Okay, I already made like three videos, but uh, all those uh, were with the old plugin that were, that was before four months back and three months back and all that. But now with this current plugin I'll uh, and the newly included features, I'll uh, continue to add more videos into this uh, topic. So yeah guys, this is what I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, hope this video helped you guys. If you found this helpful, kindly share it with someone and help them too. If you like this video, kindly hit the thumbs up button guys. That would be, uh, I would appreciate that a lot. Kindly hit the thumbs up button. And uh, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that uh, you receive notifications each and every time I upload a new video. In that way, you won't miss out on any of my content, right? So kindly uh, subscribe to my channel. It's free. Uh, and uh, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.